What's up, guys? It's Crookie coming at you with some talk about college football. Um, how's your guys' weekend going? Mine has been a disaster. I'm going to talk about this game that happened just a little bit ago at 3.30. Uh, the Mountaineers show up, go all the way up to Maryland. And, um, you know, we were picked to win. And the disappointment of this game, man. If you're a Mountaineer fan right now, um, we're going to have a long season, guys. Uh, I'm a big Mountaineer fan. Love the Mountaineers. My favorite college team. But we are in for a long season if we continue to play like we have. Um, we don't have a quarterback. Our quarterback play was awful. Um, defense did pretty well, but uh, let's go over what happened. We had four turnovers. Let's go to team stats. We had where's the turn? We had two fumbles lost and two interceptions. The two interceptions by J. Doug or whatever his first name is. I don't know if it's Jason, Jeff, Jermall. I, I don't know what it is, but he threw ducks straight to the receivers. I mean, it was just, guys, come on now. You know, we're supposed to trust the climb, and it doesn't look like the climbs this year again. So how long does Neil Brown have, honestly? Um, I think this is his third year, right? Third year or fourth? I don't know. I'll have to look it up here in a little bit. But even in third year, I mean, how long do we keep it? I mean, we haven't been a powerhouse team for a while now. And everybody kept saying this Neil Brown was going to, you know, be a good fit for the Mountaineers. Um, our, our running back did pretty decent. He had two touchdowns, 17 carries, 73 yards. I think all-purpose yards, he was over 100. But, yeah, four turnovers. That's the big key right there. We cannot have that. First downs. Even yardage. Look at the yardage difference here, guys. Mountaineers back a few years ago were putting up 400, 500 yards a game. We put up 325. I, I just I don't even know what to say. I mean, we should have beat Maryland. Um, we've got an easy game next week, and then we got Virginia Tech. I'm pretty sure it's Virginia Tech next. I mean, the next big team. We'll check out the schedule here in a second. But, yeah, let's look at our schedule. Let's see. If, can we look at the schedule? Where do I look at the schedule at? I'm just disappointed, man. What in the world? Big 12 standings. Where do I look? All right, here we go. We got... L-I, whatever this team is. Yep, we got Virginia Tech on the 18th. Tech just beat North Carolina, which North Carolina was a good team. Uh, we're, we're in some trouble, guys. I mean, it, we need to wake up. Uh, I don't know. So, let's let's just see. Let's see some highlights right here. Let's see if we can get a highlight here. Pumpkin lovers, oh. there's a whole new spin on pumpkin to love it. There you go, Dunkin' Donuts. With a new pumpkin cream cold brew, topped with velvety pumpkin cream cold foam. Come on. Or a pumpkin. Don't feel like hearing that. Sorry about that, guys. Come on, let's hurry up. Brown in motion. Brown's open. The catch. Yeah, see what I'm saying? First down and more. He ended up fumbling out twice, I think. Good play. I know it's a good play. You're a Maryland fan, you look at the Big Ten East. Penn State just beat Wisconsin, a tough division, looks tougher. Down look at this field, play, man. I've seen this. This it's was just stride. number two Davis. needs to go all on the sideline and get all the crusty burntness off of him. Touchdown. Play action. Here's the pressure. This was a really well well set up play here. And a touchdown for Maryland. I knew it was going. I knew it was going. This is after the big kickoff return or whatever. Another touchdown. West Virginia. I mean we we looked good. 
I, there's just the turnovers, man. You take the turnovers away, I think we would have won that game. But, I mean, yeah, it's just insane. Lady Brown, this is last year. Austin Kendall, he's on a totally different team. Who's our backup roster? Let's see who our backup is here. Uh, roster, offense, backups, man. Where's the backups? There. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, it was a rough, it was definitely uh, rough to watch this game. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say look here here's an upset alert look at this box score Georgia beating Clemson 10 to 3 and there's only five minutes and 37 31 seconds left who's got he's good they got the ball play by play I don't know all right guys you have a good one I want to just jump in here and talk a, a little bit about you know the Mountaineer game you guys have a good night